Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a closer look at the PlayStation 2 Portable, but this is more one from back in the days. Now we're having a lot of ways to play PlayStation 2, but this is more like the old school retro way with a portable display. I picked it up secondhand from a collector and I'm very pleased to show you here on the channel. So in my previous video, we have spoken about this PlayStation 2 Portable that I bought from AliExpress. It's another way to play, but it is not a really cheap way, because these things are crazy expensive. But nevertheless, I'm going to get some more of these products in the future. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell, becoming the Wicked family, because we're going to check out a lot of great, wicked and nutty stuff. So this third party company called Joytech made a lot of different peripherals for these devices, like also the Wii and some other machines. But we're going to take a close look at this display for the PlayStation 2. First of all, it's very rare to find and I think it's a pretty cool way even to play still in 2021. But they also released this screen in silver color because of the slim PlayStation 2 that was also in the silver color. So it's more like a matching color, pretty cool in my opinion. So let's do a quick assembly. This thing was just more like plug and play and it didn't cover up the ethernet port and the optical but I will show you later on. So the only thing that you need to do is more like plug it in, be very gentle. And for positioning the screen itself, I'm just going to close it now. I think it is more easier to assemble. Oh, a little bit tricky. All right, let's grab myself the screwdriver, the flat screwdriver, like with the network adapter of the PlayStation 2 FAT. Be very gentle. Let's tighten up the two screws. All right, number two. And that's it. So now the display itself is in position. And it automatically grabs the power from the adapter and the signal from the PlayStation. Pretty cool. Now when you're looking now in 2021 at this monitor, you are thinking, holy crap, this doesn't look that great. But back in the day, that was more like a high quality LCD display. So far I understand these things were retailing around 140 up to 160 euros. And it is more like the same in dollars. Nevertheless, it was just a great way to play with your PlayStation 2 Slim on the go. We didn't have like the fancy Chinese portables that we're having now and other great ways of to playing like emulation. So if you can bring your games with you this way, I think it was just a genius way. And you can just go on vacation, plug in your cable, you don't need an extra television and you can just play some PlayStation 2 games. Okay, so the monitor itself is an 8 inch display and for back in the day it was quite big. There's a resolution of 640x480 and it doesn't sound that much, but it was more than enough for the signals that came from the PlayStation 2 and also having the option to use the RGB card and the component for the best signal output. But how does the hatch feel of the monitor? And I will say even after all those years of use, it feels still very nice. There are no tiny teeth that basically locks it in position. But still you can get it in a lot of different directions. But a big bummer for these displays or better said the plexi that is in front of the display is very thin and very scratch sensitive. You can see that a lot of scratches. I can fix it. Maybe we'll make a new video about it. How you can do this. Okay at the front of the display what we're going to get here are all the buttons that we're going to need for navigating through the menu or putting it in a different input. So here we're having all the buttons and what is very interesting is that this thing has also the option to play it on RGB mode or component. Okay, pressing this button you can see it switches to game DVD, RGB and here we're having the component. And what I like about it is that we're going to get the best signal for this display. And I'll say for an old display, it looks amazing. All right, so the volume control, that is a different story. It sounds very good. So let's do a quick check of that. So at the front of the device, we're going to get two tiny speakers, but they combine it with SRS technology. So in other words, it needs to be sounding very good. The audio itself, like the mid and high, is pretty good. 
I don't want to push it any further, otherwise it's going to be like sounding like shit. Nevertheless, there is no bass. What you have for early 2000s, let's say portable speakers, it's not bad at all. So here we have some more options if you can change the brightness, contrast. And let's go to the other menu. Here having the input signal, you can see it's running on Paul. And SRS, you can even turn it off if you don't like the extra, more like quality v audio. So at the back, we are going to get a lot of different connections like the multi AV adapter in. But what I find really convenient is that you can slap this thing super easy on the PlayStation 2, but you don't need to remove it because you can still use it with the original adapter. And of course you have an AV out. So if you don't want to use the display itself, you can just flip it down and just use this thing on the television. You can also still reach the ethernet port and the optical out. But when it comes to playing the games, we have so many new options now in 2021 besides playing or disc games. Okay, so if you want to play your games on the go, it's just a great way even now. So when a PlayStation Portable from China, you can only use a USB drive. And now we're having the option to play your original games. But another great way, what I already mentioned, is that with OPL, this is just a great way to go to. So what you need to do is get yourself an OPL memory card. I read us a review about it. Okay, so let's reset this bad boy. Let's grab ourselves a USB stick. I already did a review about you can also have an external hard drive. And I did see there were some even some YouTube videos out there that they removed the optical drive and added a hard drive in it. The USB drive will make a separate video about it. I can already tell you, spoiler alert, it is not that great simply because yeah, loading times are freaking awful. So it's a very good option because you don't wear out your lens, but no, it's not the perfect option. Nevertheless, let's boot up the free Mac booth. And this way you can also do a lot of great things like emulation. But that's not what we're going to talk about. That is something for a different video. But what you can do is get yourself a complete kit. This kit contains the hard drive that you're going to need including this nice transparent enclosure it of course comes with the cable itself but it's only an old usb connection because the usb connection on the place 2 is very slow of course we can always use an ssd for building yourself this more like plug and play solution an ssd it will not be very fast because of the usb is basically very slow but it is not having a spinning disk so if you accidentally drop it Another thing what you're going to get in these kits are just a ready to go free make booth memory card. You can make it yourself, but this is just super convenient because it's already set up plug and play and combined with the hard drive, you can just add your games and play and be on your way. So when you have added your games with OPL, it's just looking really cool. We can add a tiny thumbnail for your disc and your cover of the game. Sadly, it loads very slowly, so that is a little bit of a bummer with these things. But in this way, combined with the monitor itself, you have just all your games on the go. I don't need any of your discs, you can just leave them at home. So this was a blast through the past with this PlayStation 2 portable display. A big shout out to you Tom for basically selling this to me, because I got a pretty good deal. It's more like something you just need to find these devices for a, let's say, normal amount of money. You can buy them on eBay for just crazy evil bay prices. But this time I picked it up for a good deal combined with the PlayStation 2 Slim. Nevertheless, I am very happy to have this in the collection and now even in 2021 it's so much fun to play on. It's something completely different when you're looking at the Chinese portable devices that you can buy. So let me know in the comments, did you ever own a display like this and what do you think of it? I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family and we'll see you in the next video.